Good morning, everybody. Oh my God, that wasn't even English. Good morning, everyone. How is it going? Uh, we are Sunday and it is 6.57. I am getting ready to go and lash my regulars. So I thought I would film myself getting ready. Uh, hopefully some of them will allow me to film the process. If they don't, obviously I have to respect that, but hopefully they do and I could put it in with this video. And usually I babble way too much, so I'm just gonna shut and let's get started. So how is everybody doing now that it feels like the end of, like the light at the end of the tunnel is finally showing up? because, whoops, I'm about to put the, oh, okay, we're all good. End of the tunnel, the light at the end of the tunnel feels like it's actually, like you see it during this whole pandemic. Uh, sidebar, I'm using Maybelline Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. It doesn't have any color. Here they just lifted our curfew so like I'm hoping it sticks but people are still kind of just going psycho and <laughs> doing whatever they want thinking that that will help end the pandemic and I'm just sitting at home going pretty sure that won't but okay so you know I'm trying to be the good role model so the reason why I really, 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 times about a million love this eyeshadow primer is it's very tacky. So when I put in eyeshadow, it, just, it sticks. You know what I mean? Very, very good. Very, very good. So I purchased this eyeshadow palette, uh, I think about a week ago, and I've been dying to try it out. I have been dying to try this green shade. Sorry guys, I don't know what is happening. It's cause I'm filming. It's cause I'm filming. Dying to try this green eyeshadow. So we are jumping right on in and that is what we're going with. And I'm just gonna put it everywhere. <gasps> oh, oh, I want like, I'm obsessed with this color. It looks as good on the eye as it does in the palette. To blend the edges, just to make them softer, I'm gonna go with the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Palette. And I'm gonna use Nocturnal, which is, if you want like something to compare it to, it's, um, it's the same texture, color, and consistency as the MAC Vanilla Eyeshadow Powder. So I'm just doing this, cutting off the excess. And I'm using a very soft brush. I'm just blending it like so, just to make it softer. I'm loving this green. I'm obsessed. I know it looks really psychedelically weird right now, but like we're feeling this right now. Well, I guess I am. If you aren't, I'm sorry. So I don't wanna, I don't really want a liner. I was just gonna put, like I really wanted a bold eyeshadow and I was gonna put lashes and just kinda let the eyeshadow speak for itself. But I don't wanna get washed out too much. So I'm gonna go back in my Pretty Vulgar palette. Well, I follow what's happening here. Um, and I'm gonna go in the color All Nighter, which is the Pure Peach Black Matte Eyeshadow Powder. I'm using a very thick, dense flat brush. And I'm just gonna put this, I'm gonna slowly. So I'm not really worried that I went over. I'm not having a wing. I'm just trying to make sure that I really get it in that little crease. So do you guys want to laugh? I just realized that this is not the same set of eyelashes. <laughs> Anybody notice a difference? 
Oh my god. Like. Oi. Anyways, I can't take them off. I don't have time. It took forever to put them on. It's 7.24 and I just realized why it took forever to put them on. Because my body was telling me that this was the wrong, like I took, we're gonna work with it. I, I don't know. We're gonna try, I don't, I don't know. I. Maybe if I cut these guys, but like I don't want to cut the. Oh my god, because I take it, if I take it off, I have to restart because the eyeshadow is wiped off because it's glue. So we're gonna pretend that they're the same eyelashes, and we're gonna. There's nothing much I can do about it, so I like I gotta go. Like my day's gotta start. This is such a Kim thing to do, it's not even funny. <laughs> so now we have different lashes on and we're just gonna say that this is a trend and that I did this on purpose. If anybody asks us, this is the story that we are going with. So we're gonna move on while I just keep looking at the fact that it is so freaking obvious that they are different. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm use a I usually just use micellar water. Whichever one you use is fine, honestly. And I'm just going to clean underneath. I'm just gonna clean this up. There you go. I can't believe I put the wrong ones. Jesus. This is why I can't have nice things. All right, so it's now 7.30, so I need to uh, speed this, I need to speed this up. Um, so, I say so a lot, I'm sorry. So, we're gonna use the Pore Professional Pore Primer from Benefit. Uh, another good one that I really, really love is from e.l.f. If you guys love drugstore cosmetics as much as I do, I really, really love their primer. It's the one in the, the white bottle. So I'm putting more of the product where I really need it, and whatever is left over, I'm just spreading it around. But I have a lot of pores on my nose and my forehead and my chin, so that's more or less where I'm focusing. And then usually what's left over, like I said, I spread it everywhere, but I kind of focus more under here so I don't get crow's feet as they call it with my makeup. There you go. <laughs> so oh. I usually let the primer just sit and do its thing. Because the point of a primer, it's, it's very specific. That's why they're very specific in what they do. People think you can just use any primer you want and like, it does the same thing. No, that is why you should read the little, you know, label thingy on the front and it'll tell you what it's for. So because this one is for pores, I really wanna make sure that it dries properly and does a veil like it's supposed to, to just, you know, not show my pores. So I'm gonna wait two, three minutes. And then we're gonna start. All right, so it's 7.34, we're ready to go. See, it already showed a bit, well for me anyways, it did a difference. Like this is not very smooth. I don't know guys, I've had way too much coffee. But I found this little gem. People have been telling me about the Sephora um, foundations for a while. I was more or less skeptical. <laughs> not because I hate Sephora, I love Sephora. I can't go in there without spending too much money on palettes that already look like palettes that I own. <laughs> or lipsticks, you know, basically I could buy the whole store if I didn't give a crap about my credit score. Let's be real. And I was like, you know what? Let me just try this thing out. So it's the Sephora Fond de Teint Matte Perfection Foundation. It's a full coverage, long lasting. It's number 05 porcelain. And guys, 
I don't think I can use another foundation. <laughs> it is so good. Like, so good. So good. And it's so creamy. Like, oh, I'm in love with this thing. This is how much I took. Because it's a very uh, potent, <laughs> as you can tell. So I probably actually took too much. So I'm just gonna dab this everywhere. So this is why I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> um, like this matches me to like full extent. And if I didn't want to, I don't need concealer. I am, what's the term, snatch? Is that what people say? I am snatched. Like there's like, we're good. <laughs> I'd be good. This could literally just be concealer. Like you just put like two little droppies of this little thing and you just like bloop, 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 bloop and like you're good to go. Like I am obsessed. Just putting that out there. But it is me and I still want concealer. <laughs> So we're just gonna do the concealer anyways, but not as much as usual, cause girl. But I'm just realizing I have foundation on my hand and knowing me, I'm gonna wipe it on something. So concealer is camouflage. Uh, <laughs> camouflage my concealer from Essence. And I just want a bit more here cause I'm really dark because I'm not sleeping a lot, which is also why I'm gaining weight. I have to start paying attention to that. So translucent powder, um, it's from Lancome, so everybody knows this one. It's all over Insta, but I've been using it since I think I was 18, 19, so to me it's nothing new. Um, I'm just taking a little bit. I'm not taking a lot. I thought I was gonna sneeze, sorry. And I'm just gonna dab it in my T-zone. So that's where I get oily the most. Can't wait to draw in my brows, cause right now, I don't know, I don't look good with no brows. I'm gonna take a little bit again, shake off the excess. For my under eyes, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Compact Powder, and this is usually actually the one I leave the house with. Here we go. I'm gonna use uh, the brush I've been using <laughs> for it. And it's just, it's pure white. It's um, pressed powder translucent. So it's just a very matte white powder, but I just love that it gives a very satin smooth finish see so this is why I love having this compact on the go another really good one except it's very I mean it's very potent that's why I mean it's well known the uh, fix studio Mac compact powders they're very very good but they hold a lot of pigment so you definitely don't want to go too crazy or you're gonna look like you basically took cake and put it all over your face so a little goes a long way, but it's, I mean, it's MAC. How can you go wrong? So for bronzing up, I'm gonna use my trusty e.l.f. one, just because I broke my NYX one and my Kat Von D uh, shade and light palette, I have no idea where it is. So clearly that's useful. Um, <laughs> I don't know where it is. I know I, you guys don't see me use it often on the IGTVs that I do, that's because everybody's using it. So I'm just like, I'll use anything else. I'll use the, the underdogs that nobody ever wants to talk about for some reason. I'm gonna go with my trusty drugstore psychic, uh, Elf, and uh, it's Forever Sunkissed. And I just love it because one, it's compact. So when I go sleep at my boyfriend's house, it's super easy to pack and it doesn't break. And it's the greatest neutral grayish tone that I found. The other really, really good one is uh, the Matte Bronzing from Essence Color Natural. It's really, really good too.
So for blush, I don't know if I want to use pink or orange. I have to break everything I own. Um, so I can use the ColourPop. A friend gave this to me. I don't know why. Like I even told her to keep it <laughs> because she's as obsessed with Sailor Moon as I am. Uh, the ColourPop Sailor Moon Collab Blush. Uh, cat's Eye with little, little Luna in it. Or the note one, which is Dessert Rose. And this is like the best pigment I've ever seen. Like it's so freaking pretty. So let's hold them <laughs> on either side and let's see which one I'm gonna go for. We're summer, right? Like June is in four days, three days, two days, whatever, next week. If we were still spring, I would use this one. But I think I'm gonna use this guy. So while I do my brows, I'm just going to bake underneath My bronzer, I don't want to put too much, just enough. I know like everybody's like, oh, you should put like six pounds of powder. No, it's really not how it works, people. I've updated my eyebrow routine once more. <laughs> I always fall in love with like a way of doing them and then I end up hating how I'm doing them. So my brows and I have a very difficult relationship. We just, we do. Um, we're probably heading for divorce. <laughs> so like I'll let you guys know how it turns out. This is the first step that I do. Uh, it's the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil and this is in the color, yeah, I think you would have a color. And it does not, that's that's good. Cause I don't remember what color I got, but that's the, cool, thanks Elf. Basically it's brown. I think it's dark brown that I took. I just like to comb them. There we go. And now I just like to do like, I guess you could call like a base. And then I just go in with an eyeliner pen and draw like little hair strokes. Let's do this part first. So next step is the eyeliner pen long lasting in brown from Essence. And I just like to do like a, like a few little strokes. Actually, I'm gonna take my little note guy over here. It's just a little mirror and I can't open the cap. Oh my God. My, oh, there I go. For you. Literally, that's it. Even if they're like, I'm sure I can tweak them more, but I don't want to because they're just gonna be more like uneven. So, this is literally all I do with my brows. I don't do anything else. So to finish off, we're gonna finish the as, and I'm gonna use a very, very, very flat brush. And I'm gonna put the same green, but I'm gonna go very gently so that I don't have fallout. <laughs> Now 
There we go. And to just give it some dimension, I'm going back in my Pretty Vulgar palette, but I'm gonna use the color Swoosh. And I'm just gonna put that a bit everywhere. Just so, like I don't, there you go. That, like it's pretty, but I want some dimension, you know? Yeah, no. Mascara is on. Looks so much better. Not the same lashes, but like we're just gonna we're gonna wing this. So setting spray, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. And while that dries, I'm getting ready to dress and I will be right back. Hey guys, so I am all ready to go. I'm just gonna apply a bit of lip gloss. This is the clear lip gloss from Essence. I've used it a bit with lipstick, that's why there's a bit of a tint to it. There you go. And there we go. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Smells like mint. Just gonna take off the excess. And voila. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully I wasn't, you know, too, uh, and I will see you guys on the next one. Have a really great weekend. Hopefully I can vlog. If I can't, that's why I'm saying have a really great weekend. And stay safe, stay humble, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.